the siphon is apparently her mouth and the siphon is also where waste is excreted. So I don't mean to call Marina a potty mouth, but that's what the game is telling me. I'm just a biologist looking at clues there. My name is Pat. I am one half of the social media team of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And joining me is, of course, the better half, the fantastic half, Emily. Hey, Pat. Pat and I are both scientists by trade, social media professionals uh, by art and by pun. Today, we're going to go to the museum. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to do some diving and evaluate some of the natural history that is in the game. I found the strongest rock in the ocean. The one with all the muscles on it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who do we got? Little Kong? Oh, it's our wealth of knowledge. I love the detail in it. It even has its little operculum. The Animal Crossing models are just so amazingly well done. The details are, are perfect on them. <gasps> giant clam, Emily. The game makes it harder for you to catch the rare items, but if you were going after a giant clam in the wild, uh, it doesn't it have to work that hard. Oh, whoa. Often you'll see puffer fish depicted in their puffed up state. We have an unofficial movement that we're trying to start, which is unpuff the puff. An inflated puffer fish is a sad puffer fish. Let your friends know, don't draw a happy puffer fish puffed up. <laughs> it's been a little odd to see that you can catch octopuses when you're diving in game and also have octopus neighbors. I decided to give them all octopus pets as, as a <laughs> gift. And it was very odd to see their responses. In particular, Marina said that she can't wait to learn more about them. Maybe it has something to do with getting to know them on a deeper personal level, like life Maybe. philosophies, political yeah. inclinations. It's a lot of fun to pick up all the shells in the game. Just a quick note that if you are on the beach, looking at all the beautiful shells to leave them there, they can become homes for other animals. Eventually they'll break down and become the beautiful sand that you have on the beaches as well. A lot of time beaches are protected. You're not actually uh, supposed to collect shells from beaches. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. I think it might just be Remora again. I don't know. Oh! oh no. Not even a oh shark! My God. Yes. Emily! 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 Simply the greatest organism that has ever oh. swam this ocean. Mola Mola, a fish so nice that they named it twice. This <laughs> is the largest bony fish on Earth, or the heaviest bony fish on Earth. They can get to be over 5,000 pounds when they are full grown. These are amazing animals. They're actually one of the most modern fish on our planet, even though they look completely ancient and prehistoric and just clumsy. Scientists for a really long time thought, Oh, there's no way that that could be efficient, but these are amazing swimmers in our ocean. In fact, they are so incredible at swimming that they can breach out of the water. They can launch those big, awkwardly shaped bodies completely out of the ocean. You may have heard of a circus of puffin, a parliament of owls. There isn't really a collective noun for molas, but we have decided that the collective noun, if you have a group of mola together, you're looking at a guac of mola. And this also means that if you have a mole of mola mola, that means that you have in front of you avocados number of mola. So cool. So this exhibit here is really reminiscent of the open sea exhibit that we have at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We've got a few in here in game that we have had at the aquarium. One of my favorites in here is that we're actually the only aquarium in the world to successfully exhibit a juvenile white shark. We've had six. We had them at the aquarium to do some white shark physiology research, try to figure out how much energy white sharks need to grow. I think the one thing that, that we do need to point out in here is that you have predator and prey all yes. living together inside mm -hmm. of the exhibit. The number one questions that we get at the aquarium is, hey, why isn't that animal eating the other animals? And mostly uh, it would have to do with how well you're taking care of all of the animals and how often you are feeding them. So Blathers would have a very, very busy day here at the aquarium unless he has some secret employees that we don't know yeah. of. This is an absolute nightmare, by the way, from an aquarium design <laughs> standpoint. Uh, you don't see too many exhibits where people can walk on top of them because people scratch the exhibits that they walk on. For the most part, this is a really accurate exhibit. The one fish to me that just really stands out is the lionfish. This is not the yes. preferred habitat uh, that the lionfish would want to be. In. This would be where the game developers should have, or, or blathers should have put the uh, the lionfish. Anyway, nobody asks us. I mean, the number one thing that I love about the barrel eyes representation in this game is that they got the scale like spot on. It's good Some to get the, the scales animals. right when they're yeah, doing the fish. When you're you know? talking about fish, exactly. Just so cute. 
It would be wrong to call it an alien because it is living in the largest habitat that we have on Earth. 95% of the real estate on our planet is the deep sea. 99% of the real estate is in the ocean. So where we live, we're the 1% up here on land thinking that we've got things figured out and that we know what it means to be an earthling. Through the power of editing, we have made our way back out of the museum. We could have spent many hours in there. Just a huge shout out to Animal Crossing. Everything has been so incredibly detailed. The facts and information that Blathers can give you about all of the animals is a joy to watch and a joy to participate in. From a scientific perspective, definitely giving the game a 12 out of 10 Absolutely. Uh, for, for just nailing all of the incredible detail for the marine biology that's in the game. Thanks for watching BuzzFeed Multiplayer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button. And definitely check out other videos while you're at it. Woo! Bye!